Gang, as y'all can see, bro, APD, the district attorney office, bro, they doing all this to this man. They violating this man's rights just to catch thug, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think we need to sign a petition for Lil Woody Woo to get up out that stand, bro. It, enough is enough, bro. <laughs> two, you, two, Ma, what's happening, man? Welcome back to the channel, man. We back at you with some good content, man. I go by done. If you new, go ahead and do me a solid. Go ahead and like it up. So the channel up. You feel me, man? 3K by tomorrow, man. You feel me? I need 3K, 3,000 subscribers by tomorrow. You feel me? Also, 4K, we on the way, man. That 10K, that 10K, though. Man, y'all just don't know how I feel, bro. Like, I can already see where we going. You feel me? We tomorrow. But anyway, that 100K plaque will be off by the top of the year. But check this out, gang. Got some crazy content for y'all today, man. And uh, today, man, we're going to be talking about that boy YSL Woody, man. You know what I'm saying? That boy little Woody Woo, man. And um, Woody is uh, back on the stand. And he's basically being crossed by... Uh, Thugs defense attorney Brian Steele, bro. You know what I'm saying? And Woody said some things on the stand. I think it was yesterday. He said a lot of things that was kind of crazy, you know. But uh, this right here caught my attention, man. So we just gonna hop right into this, bro. You feel me? I can look at Woody's face. Woody is very... I think he's sick of this, man. And I think he realized that he put himself in this situation, bro. And uh, because all he had to do was not say nothing to the police. Like, all the information po the po uh, Woody gave the police, right? He kind of volunteered that to basically get himself out of trouble, and he still ended up going to jail. So I think Woody is very distraught, you know what I'm saying, with the process. Even though me personally, I feel like Woody taking a stand has helped Woody out more than any other uh, co-defendant of Young Thugs, you know what I'm saying, who took the stand. And I don't even think Woody is even charged or is even indicted in the wide cell, Rico. Is he? Yeah, some shit, somebody on that. But anyway, let's uh let's get into it, man. I want y'all to hear what Lil Woody Woo had to say, man. AW240EE, Aaron Aaron, that states exhibit number 378YE. <laughs> it ain't it's funny, the June bro. June 10th, 2015 meeting, interrogation with the police. And now it's a little early. It's 10.01.46 a.m. to 10.01.59 a.m. And you said uh, something to the effect of, I hate jail. I hate jail, man. I am, and I'm just saying darn, but it says another word. I let an N get me sent away for man, them ends trying to kill me and my child, bruh, I ain't. And then he talking about killing me, bruh. Listen, I'm telling, I'll, I am, I'm a tell you anything. Okay, if you can just listen to this for us. You know what they did to me? Tell us. Here we go. Here we go, Woody. Here we go, y'all. Listen to it, check him out. Tell us. I did, I did. At the January 10th, people started shooting at me and my family. February, I went to jail for trying to protect me and my baby and my girl at the time. They put me in right street on some stuff called medical flow. It's, it's somewhere hid in the jail. They stink. It's crazy people now talking, yelling through the door, putting Feces all on the window and on the wall. That's crazy, right? But see, y'all don't hear Woody, man. Y'all don't hear Woody. Hold, man, we gonna, we gonna rewind it, bro. Because, see, I kind of feel for Lil Woody Woo, man. We gonna rewind it, bro. We gonna rewind it. We gonna rewind it. Because y'all don't hear Lil Woody Woo. Listen to him, bro. Hear him out, bro. Okay, if you can just listen to this for us. You know what they did to me? Tell us. Hmm? Tell us. Hmm. I did, I did... After January 10th, people started shooting at me and my family. February, I went to jail for trying to protect me and my baby and my girl at the time. They put me in right street on some stuff called medical flow. It's, it's somewhere hid in the jail. They stink. It's crazy people now talking, yelling through the door, punch. Feces all on the window and on the wall. They locked me in the room. It's one door right here, it's one door right here, and it's another door back here, and it's another door back here. I'm behind this door. I don't see nobody, I don't talk to nobody, I'm by myself. I made the verge of losing my mind. People trying to shoot at me while I'm They got me locked in this room. I'm, I, I can't talk to nobody, I can't see nobody. I'm locked in this room. They held me in that room for three weeks. I got out of jail. 
I had a court date for another county where I never even been to for some charges I never even did. I don't steal out of stores. I, I, I went down to that courthouse and tried to get it situated, went in the wrong courtroom, told the deputy, hey, my name is such, such, such. I miss court. I'm here to fix it. He said, oh, oh, I gave him a name, told him what happened. He said, oh, you got a warrant. And he locked me up. They put me right back in jail. I stayed in jail a whole month. I had to use the money from my, for selling uh, my phone with him to, to pay an attorney to come represent me. I got the lawyer to come represent me. That lawyer, he got me a bun. A friend of mine uh, uh, paid, gave my baby mama the money to pay my bun. She paid my bun. I got out of jail. The very next day, Atlanta police came into the gym with a whole lot of them. They got me, said that this my bag, this my gun. They took me to, from my neighborhood to Turnerfield. They questioned me. I told them it wasn't my gun. They let me go. They came back and get me uh, June 10th. They, they, they questioned me. I, I, I was at the verge of losing my mind because every time I come outside, they keep locking me up. They got me. They, they did it. They held me in the interrogation room for a whole day, probably. I don't know. They put me right back in Rice Street, put me right back behind all these doors. They, they constantly kept doing it to me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, but I don't, at this point, like, man, I'm, I'm tired of keeping living this stuff. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, man. I'm sitting right here. I got cramps, man. I got knots in my stomach, man. I haven't ate nothing. I, I tried to eat yesterday. I haven't ate, I haven't ate today. Y'all sitting up here, I asked for a break. I, I asked, I'm, I'm, I'm in pain right now. Gang, as y'all can see, bro. APD, the district attorney office, bro. They doing all this to this man. They violating this man's rights just to catch thug, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think we need to sign a petition for Lil Woo to Woo to get up out that stand, bro. It, enough is enough, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And I do understand that Mr. Steele got to cross-examine Woody. He got to do what he got to do, bro. But Woody is basically telling y'all, these folks took me through all this, bro. What is going on here, bro? Like, they shouldn't be allowed to do that kind of stuff to people, man. If somebody tell you I don't want to talk, then why are you forcing them to talk? You feel me? Putting him on the medic flow. I mean, he is a little throwed off, but he ain't that throwed off at the people on the medic flow. I don't think he is. You know what I mean? But putting him on the medic flow. Well, they throwing feces, bro. You know what I mean? Putting him back on the streets. People shooting at him. You know people trying to kill him, bro. And then y'all lock him up. I mean, let's just be honest. That'll make anybody say anything about anybody. Not only that, when he get locked up, Thug won't pay his bond. YSL ain't looking out. When Woody probably done put in a lot of work for Thug and YSL, so now he like, okay, I got some formed in. I got some formed in. Anything they ask me, Thug did it. SB did it. Yike did it. You feel me? Like, Woody fighting against the streets, and he fighting against the law. So Woody did what he thought was best for Woody, bro. And that was tell a lot of lies, bro. Now, me personally, I don't think everything that he said to the detectives is a lie, but I do believe Woody made a lot of stuff up, man. You feel what I'm saying? And honestly, I think Brian Steele is proving just that. It's no way you can sit on that jury, bro. Look at what Woody has been through, bro, and not sympathize or empathize with Woody. You feel what I'm saying? Let's just take the fact that we know he's a killer. He was on Georgia top 10 of the most dangerous criminals. Let's talk about what the APD has done to him. What the DA has done to him. The fact that he basically said, what if I get up there and say I was involved in this murder? And they say, you say that, we gonna lock you up. But you can say anything else, whether it's the truth or a lie. You can say it. You feel me? It's crazy, man. It's crazy, dog. APD should be ashamed of themselves. The DA office, the district attorney, the prosecution, whoever, they should be ashamed of themselves. All those deputies, everybody who questioned Woody, everybody who was trying to get thug, they should be ashamed of themselves, bro. And I vote for Fannie Mae Willis to get up out of there right now. You feel what I'm saying? Right now. You did what I'm saying? They need to investigate the APD when it comes to this, bro. Because that man's rights was violated. You feel me? Now, Mob, I need y'all to drop your opinion on this in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, man. 3K by the mark, 4K, we on the way on the road to 10K, that 100K plaque will be ours. And y'all make sure y'all tap in on all of our other channels, man. All the links are in the description down below. Got a vlogging channel with my lady. Got a, another reaction channel that I'm consistently uploading on, man. My lady got her own personal channel. Also, follow me on that Graham Kingdown underscore 7. Follow my Snap Kingdown underscore 8, man.
I love y'all, man. We're going to see y'all on the next one, man. Hey, free Woo the Woo off the stand, man. Let Woo the Woo go home and enjoy his life, man. We need some more 20 v one We need some more uh, internet entertainment, man. And free YSL. Thug, thug home by Thanksgiving or Christmas. I'm calling it. No cap. Let's get it.